show starts now. Hello, good evening, you're all very welcome. Hey, a great show for you tonight. I tell you, my guests will be popping out faster than a royal baby. Yeah, <laughs> little Archie arrived. Oh, mother and baby are doing well. Oh, she's a duchess. He's seventh in line to the throne. Yeah, they're doing well. <laughs> uh, now, how many great-grandchildren is it the Queen has now? Oh, that's right, eight. Yeah, just you know. uh, So nice for the Queen, though, isn't it? Yeah. Twice this summer, she'll get a visit from a chubby little thing with tiny hands. Uh, apparently... Oh, sorry. Apparently, the birth was quite difficult. Mind you, nobody enjoys being in labour. And I think we all know who's to blame for that. Uh, initially... Initially, Megan had wanted to give birth at home, although that's mainly because she saw who'd be driving her to the hospital. <laughs> the, uh... One crash. One crash. Uh, the baby was a week overdue. You know, it was really happy where it was, and no matter how hard everyone tried, they just couldn't get it to budge. I think we all know someone like that. <laughs> Let's get some guests on! Later, we have music from pop legends, Shakespeare's sister! Yeah! He's a superstar comedian, actor, producer, and one of the funniest people in the world. Now he brings us more laughs in the secret life of pets, too. Please welcome the great Kevin Hart, everybody! Oh. Hello! Always so good to see you. Always good. Kevin Hart, everybody! And she is one of America's finest actors who starred in Hidden Figures, Shape of Water, and her Oscar-winning turn in The Help. Now she's terrifying us in new horror, Ma. It's a first time welcome to Octavia Spencer. Literally so busy. Hello, darling. Lovely to see you. Come in and sit down, Octavia Kevin. And we've got two of the stars of Disney's new Aladdin. She's the homegrown singer and actress playing the dream role of Princess Jasmine. It's Naomi Scott, everybody. one of the greatest movie stars on the planet. It's always a pleasure to welcome Mr. Will Smith. Yeah, you get it. What's up, man? Uh, lovely to see you all. It's a welcome How? back to Will and Kevin. Uh, Naomi and Octavia, you've never been here before. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> British out again. Yeah, yeah. 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 You've got British right off the yeah. bat. Because you're kind of you're here at the moment, aren't yes, you? Yes, I'm I, I uh, I'll be here till June twenty-second. Oh right. Mm -hmm. And are you slipping into the British accent? Well a bit, every now and again. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> uh, now here's the thing. Will and Kevin, you've have you you've never been in a film together. No, no, no. no. Well, oh, but the plan is you'd like to. Right? We, of course. Yeah. Yes. We are trying, like we're, you know, we're we're both from Philly too. So it's like we we love to work together. We've been looking at a few, you know, a few things, but uh, Kevin stays really busy. And it's uh, it's hard to fit into his schedule. So well, that's what I, 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 I do stay busy. Uh, <laughs> I, I you know, I think that. The beauty of the idea of us working together is is such a wonderful thing that we just want to make sure it's right. It's right, yeah. We want to make sure Fair like enough. we don't want to just throw something together. Yeah. We feel that when that moment happens, it should be something that people hold on to mm. and really gravitate towards and understand how special of a moment it is. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, I think we could do Wild Wild West too. <laughs> well, that's, well, that's, well, that's not, oh my God! Don't, don't laugh at that idea, Octavia. Okay, I'm so down. If you did work together, I mean, the world would go crazy. Yeah. But Philadelphia might explode. Oh, my God, yeah. Because Philadelphia loves you. When you go back to Philadelphia, presumably you visit this. Oh, uh, yeah. This is a 65-foot oh mural yeah. of Will Smith, right? Yeah, that's but, right. But someone else has a mural in Philadelphia. Who? Who? Well, to show it after. Well, <laughs> it's only... <laughs> it's not as big. Well, yeah. It's not as big. But it's beautiful. You should have showed my 
mine first. I think. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, but that, <laughs> except <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, though, you do have one up on Will because that's a special day. That is, that is, that is what? a special day for me. Um, I have a day in Philadelphia, but that's uh, that's Max's, and it's a uh, it's a place where I frequented to get cheese steaks oh, to my nice. child. You have a day? A Ke it's Kevin, Kevin Hart, Hart day. day? A yes. Kevin Hart day. A Philadelphia Kevin yeah. Hart day. Yeah. It's just Philadelphia. Have a I Will Smith day? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, no, that's that's we need to uh, what Come I'm on, thinking. That's what I'm and thinking. And not to yeah. rub salt in the wound, Octavia Spencer has a day. Alabama, well, Jimmy Ryan. Alabama, Jimmy Ryan. Yeah. 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 You just, you just, just, just recently. Sure. Oh. Uh, March, March 21st. Wow. Do you, do you go back every year? No, I send a card. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Obviously, uh, Will and Amy, you're working together in a lab, and we'll talk about that. But um, Octavia, you have also worked with Will. I don't know if you yes. remember this. Uh, and, and it was a special oh, that's moment. Right. Yeah, it was a that's special right. moment. Yeah, no. on Will's birthday, I think uh, the, either this year or last year, mm -hmm. I wrote about what you did for me. Wait I'm probably going to cry. Wait a minute. Um, oh my gosh. We were working on Seven Pounds, Seven and I was pounds. only on that movie for three days. Mm -hmm. Will pulled in as I was coming out of my trailer, which was a honey wagon. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was wider than a new. <laughs> <laughs> and I was coming out, and I was going to hair and makeup. The very next day, I go to my trailer, and they said, oh, you, you've been moved. And I had been put into, like, this triple banger, which mm -hmm. you never get anything that's not in your contract. Mm -hmm. And the AD told me that Will had changed my trailer, wow. upgraded my trailer. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you impress them? Why did you bring them back? Well, you know, I'm, uh, parenting is something that I take pride in. Um, you know, I want to make sure that my kids understand the value of hard work and, and what the meaning behind it should be. So, you know, I don't want you thinking that what we have in, in our lifestyle is how it's supposed to be because mm. it's not. Yeah. There's, a, there's a reality behind it. So I'm going to take you to where dad is from. So yeah. we take a trip. You know, we take a real trip to Philadelphia, mm -hmm. uh, and you know, we land, and I said, I'm gonna show you where I grew up, so you can understand. You land in your private jet, well, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Like, like, like that, that. <laughs> Listen, every yeah. lesson has a moment of, of, yeah. of disbelief. You, Just follow yeah. me for a cool, second. Cool. I'm with you, I'm with you. I'm right. The lesson didn't start till we got off the plane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, duh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> got in the car and start driving through in the neighborhood where I was from. Then that's where the that's lessons, where the lessons start. Where, where are you from? <laughs> so we, we pull up to my place and you know, I give this long speech. It's like a moment. Like It's like 7 a.m. I got there when nobody would be there. And I'm like, look, I didn't have, okay? Yeah. Look, this is this is all we, this is the grass. It's, see this little thing? It's all the grass we had. I had to sit on the step. I waited for the bus here. I walked two and a half miles to get from here to where I had to go to meet my mom. Yeah. This was not a situation that you were comfortable in. And I get done and my kids are like, we want to live here! <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what we have is nice, but you gotta work for it. We don't wanna go home. <laughs> like, Let us go upstairs. I literally had to stop the lesson. I, 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 the Philadelphia short. I was like, Let's just go back home. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show you books from now on. No more lying. <laughs> Yeah, very good. Okay, uh, let's start track with Aladdin, uh, the new live action spectacular. It opens here on May the 22nd. Yes. 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 No, excited yes. about it, by the way. Oh, honey. So, I mean, uh, Naomi, this is so exciting. You are Princess Jasmine. Uh, I know. I don't know how it happened. Like, how am I on a couch with you lot? I don't um, yeah, like crazy, excited, all of those things. Kind of surreal in a movie with him. Don't yeah. Have to say. I'm, I'm done for life. I'm good. No, but really, like, holding your own. There's no, you mean you're you're no, in it. You're the star of this movie. It's, oh, it's, thank yeah, you. It's terrific. Oh, I appreciate it. Uh, meanwhile, Will Smith, you have the Herculean task. Yes. Of yeah. uh, of doing the genie. The genie. Yeah. Uh, was... So how hard was it to decide to do this? Yeah. No. <laughs> Yeah, that's how you teach a lesson, Kevin. That's how you teach a lesson. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Right. You show up at home looking like that, they're going to learn whatever you try to teach. But no, nah, it was, it, was, um, it was actually terrifying for me, like the first, getting the first call. You know, it's a, it, it's a deep honor. You know, to be asked to do that, but Robin Williams didn't leave a lot of room for improvement. Mm. You yeah. know, yeah. in the character of the the genie. You know, he he revolutionized what you could do in animation. Mm. And so, you know, I watched the movie a couple of times, and I was like, Ugh. and it, it wasn't until I started playing with the music mm -hmm. that I started got I, I got uh, an in. I was playing with the music, and I started. Um, instead of singing some of the stuff, I started rapping some of it. And I was like, oh, that's, a, that's an interesting mm -hmm. in to be able to maintain the nostalgia and, it, you know, be an homage to the, the Robin Williams genie, but also to add the new flavor. Yeah. Wow. And, but also, I suppose that that thing of just doing it, you know, you're not a cartoon in this film. Yeah. You right. are a, you know, yes. yeah. A live action a genie. A live action genie. I'm a human. real genie. I'm a human, <laughs> <and> real <laughs> blue genie. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, maybe, uh, like Princess Jasmine, she's different. She's, yeah. kind of, she's a kind of yes. a tougher, more modern woman yeah, than Yeah, well, before. I mean, you know, it was, what, 26 years ago? Something right, like yeah. that? Well, don't put ages on. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can just say, it was a while yeah, ago. It was a while ago. It was a little while ago. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but, like, yeah. you know, the... Yeah. Naomi wasn't born. Just say it. I'm thinking it. Exactly. Um, but it is, like, you know, for me, I think that 
I think we just wanted to make her more ambitious. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, she's fighting for the freedom um, to marry who she wants to marry in the original. And in this, she's actually fighting to be the leader. Like, yeah. she's like, I'm going I'm to be a politician. Mm -hmm. yes. So um, that's what I love about this, this version. She has to be modest. But there, there is um, a song in this movie uh, that is the, the one new song that we do. And it's called Speechless. And she absolutely just obliterates this thing. It's, it's the signature point in the movie. And as she was saying, the addition that we've made with this Princess Jasmine as a storyline, Princess Jasmine wants to be the ruler. Mm. She, and she's on her father that he doesn't have any sons and he should make her the next ruler. But in this world, women can't be yeah. the ruler. So she's fighting to prove. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, then, I'm just going to have to show it. I'm going to have to show <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to have to sing a song. Sing a song. Yeah. Like, you know, you know, yeah. like the That's prime the minister is like, right. the way to prove it. Sing a song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just sing a song. Uh, I will uh, not should, go speechless. Uh, we should say, uh, Mina Masood, he plays Aladdin. And mm -hmm. in the clip, uh, it's you as the genie mm -hmm. uh, convincing Aladdin to, to say something Absolutely. to Princess Jasmine. Mm -hmm. hey, hey. The last time you were on, girl, mm -hmm. uh, you just had a, quite a significant birthday. Yes, we'll, we'll leave yes. it at that. A significant yes. birthday. And no, I'm not scared to say it. Yeah, I turned fifty. Sixty-five. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> 60, Sixty-four. Sixty-four. Yeah. I thought we were near the same age. I'm turning forty again in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> my 50th birthday, wow. yes, wow. sir. And then, uh, since then, you've gone a bit crazy. You're doing this Ooh. bucket list thing. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, like, nobody's like, you're doing this bucket list challenge, and it's like you want to die. <laughs> like, you're doing, like, you're doing a lot of dangerous things. Yeah, you know, um, a, a huge part of, of my childhood was, was marked by fear, you know? And... There, you, you can generate, you know, great things and you su can succeed and you can win, but you can never really be happy if you're scared, mm. you know. So I turned 50 and I had created this wonderful life and this wonderful career, but I felt trapped by being Will Smith. And a part of that freedom was, well, I have kids, so I can't do this. Um, well, I'm famous, so I can't say that. Mm. Well, you know, people look at me this way, so I can't behave like that. Mm. And a part of the bucket list was I just wanted to give myself the freedom to do all of the things that I was put in my mind that I couldn't do. And yeah. there's, you know, I'm adventurous, so I, I've always wanted to be that. So. Yes, yeah, like fast cars, That's skydiving, right. yes. swimming with sharks. And, like, now, maybe... no, now, swimming with sharks, I shouldn't have done. That's the one. Oh, really? Right, yeah, right, right. I shouldn't have done that. I got that down there with those sharks and I was like, all right, Will, now you just being stupid. <laughs> This is stupid. That was the one. Kev was like, Kev was like, hey, Will, man, listen. It's just, we're going to keep it simple. One word. Stop. <laughs> At some point, you got to tap back in, brother. You, you gone. Man. You shot for real, man. No, this bucket list is an odd thing. I mean, David, do you have a bucket list? I want to learn how to belly dance. You think you can help me with that, honey? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's safe, it's safe. No shark. No shark. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say, that's a very, not a very ambitious bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> you have to leave my belly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's got an Oscar. <laughs> 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 we've lost Kevin. <laughs> Is there anything on your bucket list, Kevin? Uh, I don't. I don't like to help death. No. <laughs> I, I know death is coming. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna speed it up. I'm gonna go ahead and chill out. I, I don't want to do anything. I'm. I'm content. That's what I am. Very but so, content. But there's the dangerous thing, physically dangerous things. But then I, it's interesting. One of the scariest things you did, mm -hmm. and and it's something that I just assumed you had done you before, had done. Yeah. was stand up comedy. Stand up comedy. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. 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 I had yeah. never yeah. done. That was the first time that I ever did stand up. And you know, I just watched your last Netflix special, Thank you, man. which is so good. Thank it's you, man. great. Oh, yeah. Like it is to me, stand up is the hardest thing to do in entertainment. Oh, it's different that. than music. When you have a beat and you have rhythm and you go and it's mm. like and you got backup dancers and you got DJ Jazzy Jeff, you know, <laughs> it's like when you have all of that, it's like you're you're surrounded and protected. Mm. You know, even with a hit record, when you have a hit record, you know the audience is going to yeah. respond. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. it's going to go well. Mm -hmm. Stand up. That's that stuff out there, yeah. just you Scary. and a microphone. 
Okay. Did you get the bug? Did you kind of think oh, I'm going to do this again? Or did oh you yeah, think- no, I, I went out there and I really, I really enjoyed it. But when, when I was preparing for the stand up. I was thinking to myself, I would much rather bungee jump out of a helicopter again. Wow. <laughs> than do stand up. It, it's it's oh, terrifying to me. But I can see you doing it though. I can actually oh see God. you doing it and having success doing it because the beauty of it is talking. Yeah. Mm. yeah. You got stories. You got an yeah. amazing point of view. So I think once you grasp that mm-hmm. side of it, I'm just sharing my point of view. Yeah, yeah, People yeah, are yeah. going to understand and gravitate towards the pictures that I'm painting because they're true. They're believable. Yeah. It's authentic. Yeah. You had that. So I can see you, 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 you did You did tell two stories. Like the, st- the story about your dad is true. My dad, yeah. yeah. So the one, one where he, f- he phones you? Oh, yeah. My, my, it was, um, it was uh, Independence Day. And uh, the movie had just come out. It was uh, you know the, my first big hit movie. So it's like it was, you know, like 3 a.m. in in L.A. and he was on the East Coast and he had he had just seen the number. So the phone rings and that 3 a.m. calls. I grab it and I'm like, hello. And he's like, hey, (laughs) you see them numbers? (laughs) And I was like, Dad, it's three o'clock. I I didn't see. You remember when I told you there ain't no such thing as luck? Just what you make. Remember I told you that? <laughs> okay, Dad. Yeah, I remember that. Remember when I told you? Ain't no such thing as luck. Luck is when opportunity meets preparation. Remember I told you that? <laughs> said, yeah, Dad, Dad, I remember. He said, man, that's bullshit. You're the luckiest joke I ever made in my life. <laughs> And uh, and Kevin, obviously, you're like not just a stand-up. You're like a stand-up superstar. You sell yeah, out arenas all really. over the world. The best of our time. Yeah, right? yeah. 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 Of our time. yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but. What's nice to know is it wasn't always like that. Mm. Oh, no. The, like, no. Uh, what, did, what, was it, what did you perform at? You performed at a seafood festival? I mean, which, which, which shit show you want to know about? That condom. I think they wanted, was it crab? I had a, I had a crab fest. That <laughs> crab fest? What is you, that? In the beginning of the stand-up comedy, <laughs> you're, not, you're not performing in, in luxury you know, venues. They, <laughs> wherever they feel that they can build the stage and make Money is where you're going. So there was a crab fest. <laughs> uh, they was like, we're gonna book some talent. <laughs> some comedian talent. And I was like, all right, well, you know, I'm available. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever tried to tell a joke while people cracking crabs. <laughs> it's not the best environment. I mean, literally, the frustration that comes from not being able to open a crab is still. <laughs> If you're not funny at the same time, the stuff that you hear. I remember hearing a woman, oh an older lady, who was like, she was cracking crabs. Because <laughs> this is how you crack crabs. <laughs> she was looking at me and she was like, cracking a crab. And I tell a joke and the joke doesn't work. And I remember this lady just going, oh no. <laughs> I would much rather be booed. The, dis- <laughs> the disappointment that came from her voice and then, oh no. She said, baby, it was like, oh no, baby. As, as if I made a mistake with my choice of life. Like, like I'm not doing it wrong. I, I mean, you know, look, the, 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 the hardship that I went through has helped. I hope build me into the person I am today, where I, I can take so much. But I, I've been through it all. I was I was hit in the face with a buffalo wing. Uh, I performed at a. Don't perform a, around food. No, no, no more. When we go to my shows now, there's no food. Uh, it was a, it was a it was actually a male strip club that they shut down for comedy for the first half. So it was, like, it was a bunch of it was ladies in there, and you know it was just supposed to be us performing for these women that. I was riled up. First thing I got on stage when they introduced me, and this lady was like, "Pull it out!" I said, "Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey! That's not me. I'm not here for that. I'm here to entertain. These are jokes. I, I know who's got kids. I start, I start trying to merge into kid material. And there's one dude from the back. I just remember this dude from the back. He was like, "That's enough!" And he just, he just threw a buffalo wing at me. Right? They landed, hit me, hit me in the cheek, a little bit of sauce, got like right here. Buffalo sauce is hot, so I started. I assumed that it was a woman with a deep voice, so I was like, who threw it? Who threw it? Because at the end of the day, I'm a man. I'm a man first. Don't disrespect me. He stood up, and he was like, I did it. And I, 
I contemplated just taking my clothes off. I was like, that's the only way to go. Yeah. Oh, dear. Uh, well, now, uh, Octavia's I got a new movie, a really scary new movie, yes. Ma. It's out on the 31st of May. And, like, this is an Octavia Spencer we hadn't seen before. Now, did you know this was in you? Well, <laughs> it depends on well. <laughs> no, this is all new. It's all new. <laughs> Not, it's, yeah, it's new. It's, it's exciting, too. Really different. So tell people who Ma is and why she is potentially scary. Well, Ma is a, a woman named Sue Ann, and um, she is uh, a little damaged, and she likes to hang out with teenagers. It's a horror film, Kevin. It's a horror film. Kevin, look! When you find out that, you know, uh, life has dealt her some, you know, issues that she hasn't dealt with. Mm -hmm. And so she sort of starts hanging out with these teenagers. (laughs) (laughs) Y'all are making me laugh and it's serious. It's serious. Very serious. I'm kidding. I mean, I'm not. Let's be mature. Oh, let's no, be yeah. mature sorry, about sorry. this. But it's a great it's big, it's, it's, it's great big kind of summer horror. It's one of those summer horror films. It is a summer horror film. And, and you know, let me tell you something. When my friend called me up and said, I have this horror film I want you to do, and I'm like, stop, because black people always die within the first 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> like, whoa, whoa, you're not going to die. Not only do you not die, you get to kill everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's an advancement for our people. <laughs> <laughs> The crazy thing is, the crazy thing is you know, I haven't seen Octavia in forever. So I ran into Octavia at CinemaCon. We're there and we're both doing promo. And I saw the trailer for her film before we got to CinemaCon because I like to know what's going on. Mm-hmm. And I haven't seen her. Keep in mind, I haven't seen her. But I saw the trailer and I remember I was like, oh, this, this shit is, this is different. <laughs> and she saw me. She was like, hey, Kev. And her eyes, I, I, I just remember what I saw in the trailer. I was like, I don't know if I trust you. Like, that trailer was too good. Like, yeah. I, even though we know it's a movie, yeah. I think it's in the culture of a black person to just think that that's you. Yeah. <laughs> he really was uncomfortable. But you have, you have had other people react like that to seeing it. I, uh, yeah, people are calling me Ma now, so I got to calm mm. them down. Like, no, I my, can see you doing, like, scary and intense. Well, it's, I, I actually love scary and, yeah. and intense. And mm-hmm. so it was, it was kind of refreshing to get to do something different mm-hmm. where I didn't have to nurture anybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm always scared of roles like that, though, because some, sometimes when you go really deep into character, some of the stuff can stick, yeah. right? Yeah. So, you know, I got offered uh, Django, and it was one of the reasons mm. I turned down a Django just because of what that kind of stuff can do to oh. your mind when you mm. go too deep into those characters. Did, did you experience any of that? Honey, I'm sorry, Graham. Uh, oh, 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 I'm <laughs> You want to take, you want to take, if you have, if you have to go to the bathroom, you have to go to the bathroom or something. I think you go. I'm peeing right now. <laughs> oh, man. No, you know what? I, I actually live in the world of true crime. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's, it's one of those things, I like to be up on things. Like if I see people, I'm like, that's a killer right there. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep my eyes on you. Um, but I, it, it, I like to know that right before I go to bed, that I can figure out, you know, figure things out. So mm-hmm. it, I, 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 it was easy for me to leave easy, Ma yeah, behind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, listen, let's have a clip. Uh, this is oh, yes. you as uh, Ma. This is it. it anyway, uh, this is this is you, this is you sort of trying to reconnect with the teenagers. Yeah. Yeah. Dark. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's dark. It goes yeah. so dark. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that, that's not like a happy scene. <laughs> that's, like, that's like, you know, the bright, sunshiny I scene. I know, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you gotta go, oh, God, it's daylight. Yeah. Okay. That was a happy ending. That's the happy yeah. ending right there. It just stopped right then. <laughs> uh, but like, look at you, Octavia Spencer. I mean, you're an award winning producer, three nominations, yeah. the win for the help. And. I do want to mention uh, another movie of yours, uh, again, Oscar nominated, Hidden Figures, which mm-hmm. got you to, yeah. Yes. 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 And that, that got you, that got you invited to the White House. And there's a picture, mm-hmm. and I think it's safe to say, Octavia was quite happy mm-hmm. to be at the White, at House. The White House. Yeah, there she is. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to the 
picture. Go back, yeah, go back. We look at the picture. Look at the picture behind the rock. That is amazing. He's saying, close your goddamn mouth. (laughs) He's like, behave yourself, bro. This is our first time in the White House. (laughs) Behave. No, listen, they told us that the president wasn't going to come, and Janelle knew, and so she was actually across from me, and I didn't think anybody was watching us, and I'm like, <laughs> and that was the moment that was caught. Oh, hey, but I do love that picture. Because isn't that a picture of Barack Obama looking at Barack Obama? Obama. Yeah. In yeah. front yeah. of Barack, Barack Obama. Obama. There's a lot yeah. of Barack Obama in yeah. that. In that yeah, it's thing. like Man, Too much Barack Obama. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. now, Kevin, you met him when he was the president. Right? Yes, yes, I did. Uh, you know, I call him a uh, B.O. B.O. <laughs> 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 Personal relationship. <laughs> um, no, I did meet him, and it was funny. I go to the White House, and the same thing. He wasn't supposed to be there. And we go, and they say he might. And he comes out, and I'm with my wife. This is actually a very a very big moment for me in my marriage because we're, we're sitting together, and he comes out, and we're like, oh, he's coming. Like, that's him. So we, like, move up so we can be at the front because he gives his speeches around the holidays, and he sees me, and he goes, Aha, Kevin Hart, thank you for making time for me and coming to the White House. Love you. We love you. And I said, you got to be kidding. <laughs> like, he looked at me, and, and I had to play it so cool. I turned to my wife. I said, but you want to give me shit in the house. <laughs> it, was so, it was so good. It was so cool. Like, she couldn't say nothing. She was just looking at me like, I'm a chill. <laughs> I was so blown away. Uh, and since that moment is an ongoing joke that we had, but that day was a special day for me, just to hear him and, call me out. And Will, are you still first in line for the biopic? Because he uh, has hand-picked you, hasn't he? Yeah, no, we, we talked about it, yeah. He, uh, oh, that's God. nice. Yeah. That would be cool. Oh, my God. <laughs> Michelle? Oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Talking of the great and the good, uh, Naomi, you've had quite the week because on Monday you were at the Met Gala in oh, New yeah, York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the way you look at me blankly like, what did yeah. I do? Yeah. You did this. Uh, there you are, I tell you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Very nice. Yeah, pretty So, do you get to enjoy it? Or no, it- no, I mean, it's just, I felt like a spectator. Do you know what I mean? I was just surrounded by so many famous people. Mm. I mean, <laughs> lol (laughs) Um, and like it was just surreal and got in and you know it was just like there was steak that was great I was like finishing everyone's there was oh Irina shake next to me I was like you're gonna finish that steak (laughs) she gave me her steak then the guy yeah like I was just taking everyone's steak and uh, I was really hungry it was my birthday as well but like that kind of took a step back do you know what I mean because it's the Met Gala so obviously it all but um, yeah mental have you ever been have you ever been to Met Gala never been I've never Never been been to Met Gala me either you never been let's all go together I'm I'm gonna tell you why I haven't been like I've, I've been invited but I don't think I'm at that level of fashion. <laughs> I don't. Me either. I don't think oh, no, no, I'm no, at no. that level. I disagree. Level. I disagree. No, I no, think you no. Are. I'm, I'm not talking I've about seen... the ability to dress. I'm oh, saying okay. I don't think I'm at that <laughs> level. I don't want to be in a corner and um, somebody hits me with like, "Is that go song?" Sometimes I'm like, <laughs> "What? What are yeah. you talking about?" No, no, I get that. Yeah, like go song for songs having a hell of a year. Who are you talking about? What are you saying to me? <laughs> it's a intense it's fashion it's faces. Yeah, it's like, no, it's not a joke. Yeah, yeah I just don't. Joke. I don't know if I'm at that level for that conversation. <laughs> at some point, yeah. at some point, you're gonna run into that group, and they're gonna ask. <laughs> yeah, and they're yeah. gonna ask you. What do you think of that? Because I'm in that same situation, I always be like, hey man, look, I just took a shower and wore what Jada left on the bed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know Honestly, yeah. That's, that's, how, that's the only reason why. But I like I've seen a lot of my friends going, I think they look amazing. I love mm. the themes behind it. My fear is just like getting it wrong. Like, yeah. like going in a regular that's the suit. Point. And they're like, yeah. what the what is Kevin Hart doing? He got in a black suit. <laughs> I always, I always wanted to go and do the emperor's new clothes. Uh, I wanted to go to, uh, 
naked. Yeah, you just go naked oh. and pretend like you have something great on. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I wanted to do that, do that Will Smith. Yeah. yeah. That's a great idea. That will really work out for you. Yeah. Let yeah. me know how Jada. Let me know how Jada feels about that. That's all you Okay, Kevin Hart, he lends his vocal talents once again to The Secret Life of Pets 2. Yes. Uh, yes. Strange across the country on Friday the 24th of May. So uh, this is you, you're back as Snowball yes. Bunny. Yes. But this time, Snowball, is he a superhero or does he believe he's a superhero? Uh, well, for those who do not know, Snowball is uh, my character in Secret Life of Pets. We had amazing success in part one. Uh, so I was a villain in part one, and I, I ended the movie on love, and I found a family. And within this family, there's a little girl that loves to dress me up. She dresses me up as a superhero, and because of how gullible I am, uh, you know, I, I start to believe it. And I really believe that I'm capable of living the life of a superhero. And I get blessed with the opportunity to carry out a superhero lifestyle. Mm. And it's a it's an adventurous time for me. I don't do the things that I think I can do, but um, there's, a, there's a level of ambition that Snowball has and drive that I think people will gravitate towards. So, uh, uh, but also, he does do a great, I mean, Captain Snowball, that yeah. you're, he does do something very good. By, by the way, I know there's a lot of uh, people with kids that, that have seen the movie, and the biggest thing for me is telling these kids uh, especially white kids, that Snowball is black. So if you can, if you can help, you can help. Oh you can God. help. I show, you, I show your kid a picture. It's the hardest thing for me to explain. Um, uh, doing the voice to kids is very uncomfortable. For yeah. Me. No, it is. No, man. I can imagine no, that. Look, imagine it that. is, man. Look at me, man. <laughs> Snowball. <laughs> you you not snowball me. <laughs> it's a very hard thing. But it's a it's it's good because I love the progression mm-hmm. of the character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for me, animation is a, is such a great world because it's one that I never expected to find success in. Mm-hmm. And the fact that I'm at a part two and could potentially go to mm-hmm. three or whatever, mm-hmm. uh, it's a high. It's something else that you just you're adamant about making succeed at the highest level. So. Hey, tell you, we're a clip uh, from The Secret Life of Pets. Uh, this is uh, Snowball. Yeah. This is Snowball just uh, channeling uh, his inner rapper. Yes. Very good. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now, uh, Will and Kevin. Will and Kevin. Now, you are both very competitive. We mm-hmm. know this, mm-hmm. right? And uh, one of the things you both do online, oddly, I, I don't think we've ever talked about this, but you yeah. both do it. You post these kind of motivational... Uh, speeches yes. mm-hmm. online yes. Yes. and they're Special. short and punchy just to give people an example this is uh, Will and they're always done like this self discipline is the center of all material success what is your contribution to the human family it just other people's opinions is a really shitty way to determine how we feel about ourselves and that's all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, you know, now, uh, Kevin's are similar. They're, I would say, slightly more aggressive. Uh, uh, here's Kevin doing some. Man, wake up. Wake your ass up. Be a doer. Let's get back to smiling. Let's get back to loving. Let's get back to being positive. Don't do what they expect you to do. Do the unexpected. <laughs> Very good. Okay. So that's, that's the idea, right? I don't know. So... <laughs> So we had the idea, we've asked the audience uh, if there are any kind of issues in their life that they need motivation Uh-oh. with. Oh, okay. Something where, you know, their life is stopping them and you guys can push them over, okay? okay. Mm-hmm. Before so, we do it, can we exclude her brother? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah just, uh, hang on, let me look. No, there is, no, he's not in it. Okay. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. I mean, just for the safety of the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. So let's find out who we're going to first. Is it uh, Galia? Galia, all right. Hello, Galia. We're save some, oh, we're uh, hello. Save some lives now, here tonight, so now you have a, a fear you want to help uh, get over, right? Yes, um, I'm scared of feet. Okay, but now, <laughs> but I think, but are you scared of your own feet? Any feet, my own, my friends, any like I don't want to look at them, see them, be yeah. touched by them. Just... Okay, okay. Right. So, so Gala is is scared of all feet. Scared of all feet. 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 All feet. Okay. All feet. So I'm going to start with you, Will. Well, okay. okay. So the ca- if you want to do it straight down the lens, it's number no, no, five no. there. Okay. Right. So uh, Galia, scared of feet. How can you get her over this fear? Go. Uh, th- this one's easy. We're gonna fix this right now. <laughs> This right okay. now. Okay. Okay. You just got to come down here and confront your fear. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. 
She's horrified. She's really scared. She's possibly scared. Okay. In a bizarre drug-related incident, Graham Norton was arrested in Okay, that was your attempt. Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart, camera five, go. Camera five, here we go. Uh, what is, it's, it's what? What's your name again? Feet. Oh, Galia. 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 <laughs> Galia. Here's the best way to get you over your fear of feet. You can't take steps in life without feet. Mm. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Your fear oh. is prohibiting you from progression. Mm. The minute that you can look at feet and understand that feet are simply what move you forward, mm. you will put your fear behind mm. you. Oh. And yours was like medication. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go to uh, Jackson. Where's Jackson? Jackson. Now Jackson is almost real. Uh, so Jackson, you need motivation because uh, I'm lactose intolerant, but I can't help myself. I keep um, eating dairy. And, uh, I mean, how good is that? You can't. You can't just give it up. So, no, you um, can't. Um, okay. So, okay. but you I mean, want to right. stop. You want to stop eating dairy because it's bad for you. Uh, but you can't. Yeah, look, there's plenty of alternatives out there, but let's be honest, they don't taste as good. So. Okay. Right, right. How lactose intolerant are you? What happens? Well, um, basically, after I eat it, I'm the not so fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yes. <laughs> oh, ooh, yeah. Ooh. Well, this, this one's this one seems okay. Pretty, okay. Pretty Will. There you go. Easy. Um, you know, at, at some point, you have to think about other people. You know. <laughs> You know, uh, if, the, if the lactose doesn't agree with you, it's not going to agree with others. Uh, and just at, at the heart of it, if, if you love anybody, if you love anybody, especially those that are near you, um, just put the ice cream down because we, we, we are not inclined to enjoy your funky ass. <laughs> okay. That seems, that is very good. <laughs> Kevin, here we go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a different approach. Okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go the opposite, the opposite route. Here's my thing. People wanna change. So many people wanna do what you're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Everybody that's lactose intolerant says, you know what, I'm lactose intolerant and I can't. Here's my feeling, you get one life. And if you wanna blow your ass for every damn day, <laughs> For the rest of your life, then damn it, you should do it. Do it to the best of your ability. Yes. Because you get one life. Yes. When it's all said and done, go out saying, I drank milk because I loved it. <laughs> That's what you go do, man. Very hey, good. It won't, it won't take advice. And if Justin, if Justin drinks that milk, he's gonna need some sage advice. <laughs> Drinking that milk needs some sage advice for sure. <laughs> and right, it's time for music. I'm so excited to welcome back this pop duo. They haven't performed this song together in 27 years. Here with our iconic hit, Stay, it is Shakespeare's Sister! Shakespeare's Sister, everybody! How amazing was that? Come on over, you! Marcella, beautiful. Thank you so much. 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 Thank you so Thank you very you much for like that you performance. Could be in our band. I know. No. Yeah, right. <laughs> we go sing. Well, we might. <laughs> you never know. Uh, now that here's the thing. That song still holds the record. It was uh, number one in 1992 for eight weeks. Wow, it's wow. the the longest number one for a, a girl group of all time. Wow. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. So. Uh, that is going to be released on the album Singles Party, which is on the 19th of July. That's right. right yeah. And so it's got all the singles, but it all also has them. new songs. Yes. Yeah. Really excited 
Next Wednesday's our first single in 27 years. Yeah. Wow. And it's wow. a cracker. I mean, that <laughs> must have been, it must have been so, was it, must have been so stressful for both of it you. It was very emotional, very. actually. Weirdly and emotional. When we clapped eyes on each other, there were like tears sprang to our mm. eyes. It was like, ooh, yeah. didn't expect that. Yeah. yeah. What, do, what do you find that's new in your, like, intention or your approach? Good like, question. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I was just about to ask it. Yeah. <laughs> that was my next question. <laughs> Are you looking at these? No. <laughs> it's too intelligent, and right now I can't believe I'm sitting on the sofa with all of you. <laughs> I, so I can't even answer. I think um, the difference this time is we cleared the air, mm -hmm. and finally we were able to understand what each other had been going through, mm -hmm. and it was like, oh my God, we actually really like each other, yeah. and we're quite similar right. as people, mm -hmm. and um, yeah. and all, and then all the grievances were just gone. Yeah. yeah. That moment mm. onwards, and now we've got like, it's just the joy of creating together. And you're touring. You're you're touring right. the the UK. When does that that all starts? Uh, July or October? October. I don't know what you're no. doing in July, but. Uh, <laughs> but July. <laughs> July is the singles party. Though. Oh, okay. The singles yeah. album. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yes, I've got that. Yes. We uh, kick off on Halloween. Yeah. 19th of July. I hope that's a good omen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it is. I'm yeah. sure it is. And Will, very quickly, your son Jaden is having huge success now, yeah, yeah. Uh, and and he's out touring, um, yeah. post, whatever. So and you perform. I wanted them at Coachella. At Coachella, mm. So yeah. is, this, is this the beginning yeah. of you going, hmm. mm. like, are you a bit jealous? Would yeah, you? yeah, you know, um, I was definitely, he got well, not the, jealous, but you know. You no, know no, it was well, jealous, that's the that. right word. That's oh, jealous. it is jealous, okay, yeah. It's like, boy, I made you. Have you <laughs> doing more stuff than me? Um, no, but the Coachella, when he got Coachella, I was really proud. Like, that's, I mean, that's a big honor Huge. for a music artist. I had, I had never played Coachella. That was my first time mm. at Coachella. So it was big for him and it was big for our family. So, you know, it definitely, definitely got me the itch a little bit. Okay. Definitely got the itch. Oh. <laughs> are, you, are you scratching the itch or is it just... <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the question. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to scratch it. I'm, I'm going to scratch the itch a little bit th this summer. I was, here's, a, here's, here's a show you how crazy Will is. It's easy. Easier to jump out of a plane and, and yeah. get in the water with sharks than to make a decision on music. Like that's, that's a bucket list. That's crazy. I'ma kill myself. And you decided, oh man, maybe. <laughs> well, we hope you do. We hope you do. And Shakespeare's sister, so great to have you back yes. in our world. Yes. Yes. For the album, the Josh Pierce for sure. And that is it for tonight. Yeah. Uh, we've got a packed show, so no time for red chairs. <laughs> Just time to say thank you to all of my guests. Shakespeare's sister! Yeah. Yeah. Kevin Hart! Yeah. Octavia Spencer! Yeah. Amy Scott! Yeah. And Mr. Will Smith! Yeah. Uh, I'll be away on Eurovision GD next week, but fear not, the show will be in safe hands. Our good friend Jack Whitehall will be hosting for the night with music guest Sam Fender, writer comedian David Walliams, footballing great Peter Crouch, Welsh heartthrob Luke Evans, and from Star Wars and Game of Thrones, Wendell and Christie. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.